Hey everybody, Steve from the Pinball Room. Today we're just gonna get right into it, all right? We've got a VUC, a vertical up kicker we're gonna be putting in place, I've got a spinner. All right, I'm gonna rewind for a second and back up because some of you might be saying, a VUC, what, what, the, what the hell's a VUC? What the VUC, Steve? Um, okay, so this is called a vertical up kicker um, or a scoop, they've got a couple different names, but anyway, this is a cool thing. Um, looks kind of big and hairy. Everything except for this little piece here, the curved part is below the, below the play field, all right? And what happens, you can see here from behind, this has a place for the ball to go in, okay, from underneath the play field, and just kind of sits there. And the solenoid, if you remember solenoids from another video, will then, at the right time, be told to come up and kick this ball up, and it kicks it all the way up, and whoop, back onto the play field. So that's the only part that shows above the play field, okay? It's just that. So it could be, some of them don't even have the access from down below. Some of them is all solid and the ball just, you know, you hit the shot into there and then it comes back out. What I'm planning on doing, if you remember on mine, this shot here is going to be a diverter. It's going to open up. You'll be able to shoot the ball over here into a hole, which will then have a little subway, a little tr track underneath the play field that will bring the ball to the back here. Okay. And then when the software tells it to, it'll kick the ball up, up and out. So, Hence the term vertical up kicker because it kicks the ball vertically up and out. Okay, it's got a couple of uh, optical sensors here on each side so it knows when a ball, so it knows when a ball is sitting inside there, unless it falls out. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's a vertical up kicker and that's how I'm planning on using it. All right, back to the video. But I primarily want to get this up kicker in place because that's going to be right behind the ramp on the right hand side of the play field. We're going to have another ramp here in front of the orbit in front in between this shot here that's going to go to the back box, have a diverter come around. So I want to get this part figured out so we can start designing and printing the 3D ramp on the right hand side, get that all nailed down. But yeah, we'll get that in place. We'll get the spinner in place. We'll see how fast we go. We've got a bunch of drop targets. We might go through enough time to put those in place here. Um, yeah, we're just going to see how far we get. So we've got my half inch drill. I've got my jigsaw. We're gonna rough it out. I'll use my di digital spanner measure to go through. This is about 38 millimeters by 37 millimeters. Anyway, we're gonna go through and get it in place and see how far we can get, all right? So come along for the ride. Beautiful sound though. Beautiful sound. All right. That's easy. Let's keep going over here. For the drop targets, I use a 7 16 inch bit. Doesn't need to be quite so fat. That work for you guys? About 25 something, so we're going to go 27.
went a little fast. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. This bracket is overlapping with the mounting bracket for this little stand up right there. See so that stand up's going to need to move forward a tad, or this guy's going to need to move back. I kind of like how that's symmetrical. Maybe I'll move this guy up a little bit. Actually, this is a, as a mount on the front. I've got some of the mount in the back, and that'll give me the room I need. So, be right back. The other one. All right. Let's get this guy in. Wires out of the way, but we've got we've got our spinner, we've got the buck, and we've got our drop targets here. This is the little guy that's gonna be back here kicking the ball back out once it gets down there. It's gonna be like a little sinkhole, old school. And we're gonna do this guy. Totally got twisted. All right, I feel pretty good about that. We got a lot done today. We got the vertical up kicker in. We're actually getting like a populated play field underneath here. Him, we got the three drop targets in. The angle kicker, the spinner. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about what we got going on. So the last thing I wanna do I want to go through and put this post, okay, the short post. It's going to take a number 10 nylon um, locking nut. Got to put them right here in front of the ramp, okay? I drilled that out just a second ago. And that way we're not going to have the ball skipping and breaking the ramp so much. All right, there we go. Now, we could put a little rubber right there on them if we need to. We'll play test and see. Um, I don't know they're going to want one. Uh, it might be nice to have it kind of dead on the ball there instead of bouncing right back in your face, but we'll see both ways. It could be kind of up to the player to decide if they want to put one in place or not. So, all right, guys, um, thanks for watching. I am like overwhelmed by the response. Over 500 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Keep sharing it out there for everybody else who's interested. 
If you haven't started building your own pinball machine yet, why not? It's just, it's too much fun. Come on, so much fun. You can do this, all right? Shoot me a, a message in the comments or on my Instagram if you have any questions. We've got several people who are now talking about your projects. There's a lot of fun ideas out there, guys. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. All right, take care. We'll see you around. Bye-bye.